All right, so my next guest, my colleague, my friend, uh, was awarded the President's Award for Investigative Journalism, Excellent in Reporting on the Environment, and the Hector Bernard slash Theodore Seeley Award for News for the Television category. Join us this morning, Press Association of Jamaica's Journalist of the Year, Giovanni Dennis. Cubans. <laughs> oh, go on, great one. Respect. Respect. Congrats. Thank you so Congrats. much. Thank you so much. You are kind of accustomed to this, though, because before you came back here, you were at BBC, which is the biggest thing in the entire world, and you actually got a student award there, didn't you? Yeah, uh, it's a, call it the News Day Award, so like you actually do newscasts. That was the kind of master's program I was on in the UK, broadcast journalism. So we do newscasts for both radio and television, and we do magazine programs, something similar to what we'd call Beyond the Headlines here. Yeah. Would eat over there as well. So it was active daily practice that we were doing, and at the end of it, you get to like submit your work. Different universities, and I think we won one and we were the runner-up for one. Oh university. man, big thing! And congrats on that. I ended up in the media by accident. When did you know that you wanted to be uh, in the media? Wanted to be a journalist? When, when did you know that? It was a mixture, you know, because growing up, I wouldn't say, like, I was I always wanted to do news. I don't consider myself a news person, per se. I actually love sports. So I actually do remember watching you and Simon Crosskill from Small Jamaica commenting on cricket and all them stuff, and you and as well commenting on football. I love them things. I mean, just love, love, love when you and um, Simon attacks. So I always kind of wanted to do that uh, up to a point as well. Are you there? Are you there? Journalist. Are you there? For me, a little boy, yes. Oh, <laughs> thank goodness you that grew up. Absolutely. No, me. thank goodness you grew up. Them, <laughs> them say baby pretty, but that one, you know, that pretty to me. <laughs> My mother would say something different. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure she would. Um, but, so, so that was where the, the, the bug hit you? Yes. I, I know I had an interest in, in, in media and communication, but just by watching you and Simon on TV from a little, and also just watching movies and TV, everybody in the want to be the star of the show, because where I'm from in Mitchell Town, Clarence, and every time when the group away watch like a show together, I say, me at the star, me at the star, yeah. kind of a thing. And I was you like, had a plan B? Or no? No, you know, you know, I don't generally go with plan Bs, and it's, it's always good to have a plan B. But it's almost like, yeah, yeah, set up yourself for failure and have a backup in case you feel like, yeah, put that out in the universe. I'm always like, Whatever it is that I go after, I focus on that one thing. Because I'm not going to stop till I get it. If I yeah. get it right now, the next time I go try again, I'm going to try again, I'm going to try again. Yeah. And that has been my approach. It's a tough right. business. Any regrets? No. Absolutely none at all. Um, if it did easy, it would be nice. And I, I, I don't want to pretty it up and fancy it up in any way. And I just hope anybody, any young man especially listening to this, Take that mentality. If it's easy, it now go worth it. If it's easy, it now go be as good. It now go feel as rewarding when I achieve something. I actually don't want anything that's too easy. It not feel so good. Yep. So you no. you work for the number one station in the country, um, and you have to obviously because of your awards, you've been coming up with uh, you know stories and stuff like that. How easy is that? And 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 where do you pick from? I mean, why are you not doing a story and that studio yeah, as opposed to politics or, you know, well, how, how do you choose what you want to do? It's the things that interest me, quite frankly. I don't necessarily like reporting on the thing that everybody else is reporting on and just kind of taking different angles. Like, I like original stories and things that generally tug at my heart, things that I can generally, uh, like, genuinely feel connected to that would make a difference if I did that story. So I did a story on the farmers in Blue Mountain, Penland Castle the other day, showing the kind of treacherous journeys that they make to go to the market every single week. You know, that's something that I feel like I do something meaningful. Yeah, but how you find out about that? How, how you didn't know about that? You just look around him, man. There's so many things happening. I personally, and this may not be the best thing to say, but I'm not big on political reporting per se. I think they do get a lot of attention. There's so many things happening. So many people are afflicted by issues surrounding or so you just look around and you see, you see the violence in, in high schools, you know, what's causing that, what's driving that, to hear from the students themselves as well as the teachers and other school staff who are affected by that. You look at something like, you know, the work on travel program, something I did recently yeah. on All Angles Investigates, yeah. a young lady can't get back her money because the yeah. pandemic hit the company and them shut down. We run the story a couple of weeks, a couple of days after that, she got back the majority of her money and has gotten back all the money by now. Like them things that make me feel like they make a difference. Yeah, man. You know, so. Some of us you hear say you're good. And then you just go sit down and say, yeah, man, 
Me, me all right, you know. No. Um, some of us, you know, you get an award and you say, well, me the biggest thing in the world now, because, you know, so the people give me an award and yeah. what keeps you motivated, uh, having got this award, you, you, you can't get much better than the Press Association of Journalists of the Year. You can't get much better than that, but you can't get it two years straight or ten years straight. Yeah. But what, what in your mind said, no, I have to get better this year, I have to do more this year, next year I want it again. Where did that come from? Also, something that a good friend of mine said to me, who will remain nameless, and he said to me once, he said, Gee, I don't want to be the best in Jamaica. I want to be the best in the world. He does football coverage, and that's one of the things he always says to me. I won't say whose the name is, but I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, I'll say this quickly because I don't want to pretend. Before coming into journalism, one of the things where you say, you know, some of the love for win the award there and would the like to achieve that as a journalist. But when you start and the more you do it, you realize it actually isn't about the awards and it isn't about the recognition for you, the journalist. And that's the kind of mindset I have now. It doesn't matter to me if I ever win another award for the rest of my life. What matters to me is that I do good quality work, meaningful work that makes a difference in people's lives. So I won't pretend that when, before I come into journalism, I never want to win. Of course, obviously, any profession you're going on, you want to do the best and be the best or be among the best. I still want to be among the best, but I'm not... I'm not motivated by the awards. Yeah. I genuinely love what I do and I genuinely appreciate seeing the difference and sometimes the almost immediate impact that when a story is done properly, it has on people and on people's lives. Yeah. That's when I it. started the business, um, I, and Sheena is in the studio with us, I, I used to hate makeup because of Still sinusitis, sinusitis, because it, it actually bothers me. Yeah. And I actually thought one time, so well, let me have to put on makeup and go up on TV. I don't want to go on TV. Yeah. And, and then it still bothers me, but I get accustomed to it, and I know that they have a job to do also. And as simple as this might sound, is the toughest part of the job for me. <laughs> What's the toughest part of the job for you? I mean, that kind of sounds frivolous, which I just yeah. said, but to be honest, is the tough, toughest part for me that every time we come on and they have a job to do, and if I shine and if I don't look good, well, I don't look good when I say that I do my face not smooth, then the, the makeup artist will get, a, will, will get an issue. And that, again, that's, that's simple for me. But what's the toughest part as, as a journalist? Because I always tell people I am not a journalist. I'm a broadcaster. I am in the media, but I'm not a journalist. What's the toughest part of being a journalist in Jamaica? I'll answer your question, but I'll quickly say I don't like makeup either. I don't put my face in I'm always have acne. I never feel sensitive. I just feel like Sheena because yeah. I love this. No, I'm not blaming Sheena. But she I blame her. No, I blame her. Um, the toughest part is starting. Like start, so I'll, I'll have an idea. I'm, I'm a creative person, so I'm not short on ideas. I look around me and I'm inspired by everything that I see around me. Um, but it's actually when I do the interviews and to start the writing. The easy part is when I see the story. The editing the story is easy because I know how to do it. I've been trained. I know how to write. I know how to present when I go on the TV. I can do all of that well and excellently. But the most difficult for me thing for me every single time is just actually starting I take very a long time to start I guess because I'm thinking about the end before me even start right the story so I'm picturing it and I, I kind of work backwards from that like from the what what's the final product I want to see yeah and so because I'm thinking so far ahead it actually slows down how quickly I start I'm an editor they always are complaining about that so <laughs> hopefully them take time with me I understand say it's a process now so just a, a low key plug I ask them if you don't pressure me too much now yeah give us a little insight and what you might have coming up. It's not what I might have, I definitely have something coming up soon, so we may be back here soon promoting it on All Angers Investigates. The next season of All Angers Investigates is coming soon. We're looking to have it by the end of this month, possibly the first week in March. Uh, important story, it's not the kind of story you're hearing every single day in the news. I don't say investigate, it's not always something you know, big relating to corruption. It's just looking at something deeply and differently that we don't always see yeah. in the news sometimes. So, and it's, an, it's an interesting story, it's a human interest story. Um, I'm afraid to say much well, earlier, well, don't, but don't. yeah, I'm very excited about it. I'm yeah. looking Biggest story you have done thus far as a journalist? Would have probably been, and interestingly, we never, I never didn't want to do the assignment on the Porter Simpson documentary I did last year, probably next to Pothole Paradise. I mean, I've done a few that have gotten significant reaction, but I think the, I've never seen so many people react to anything I've done like I saw them yeah. do with the Porter Simpson documentary. I started and I will end with the fact that you are the Press Association of Jamaica's Journalist of the Year. So just look in that camera and tell the young journalist um, how to get where 
you are and what they need to do. Well, not necessarily to get where I am, but to get wherever you want to go. Because where I am may not necessarily be where you want to be. So I'd say to you, if you genuinely want something, do it. You will have people and elements saying, you know, who do you think you are? You're nothing, you're extra, you're too much. But do what you want. If I really eat you one and you genuinely want to do it, just do your thing, Bridget. Don't let nobody stop you. And rest, Bridget. Respect, great yeah, man. Man. And the man who tell you that you must try to be the best in the world, me like that man there. Yeah, man, yeah. rate him to us. Yeah. Man, respect highly <laughs> and look up to, you know? Yeah. <laughs> First Association of Jamaica's Journalist of the Year, Giovanni Dennis. Who knows? Next year, I think I'll be sitting right here saying Journalist of the Year again. <laughs> All right, coming up for a fun stop. We don't have that yet? I don't know.